Dear viewers, greetings. Uh, this present video is about uh, microbial infections. In this video, we are going to see about the definition of uh, microbial infection, uh, various types of microbial infection, sources of microbial infection, and the transmission of microbial infections. Microbial infection. Uh, microbial infection is the invasion and multiplication of disease-causing agents or disease-causing microorganisms in an organism's body tissues. An infection may or may not result in disease, that is, uh, it may not adversely affect the body. Uh, there are various types of uh, microbial infection. The first type of microbial infection is primary infection. Uh, primary infection is a uh, Initial infection within your microorganisms in your host, uh, ringworm infection, common cold infection, uh, sore throat infection caused by uh, Streptococcus pyogens are the examples of uh, primary infection. The second infection is uh, reinfection. The subsequent infection by the same microorganism in your host is called as reinfection. A secondary infection, infections that follow a primary infection is called as secondary infections and the secondary infections occurs often by an opportunistic pathogens and some examples for the secondary infections are yeast infection by candida species and HIV infection. Next is acute infection, a disease in which symptoms develop rapidly and that runs its course quickly and severely is called as acute infection. Uh, influenza, common cold and Ebola are the examples of acute infection. Uh, chronic infection, a uh, disease with usually mild symptoms that develop slowly and last a uh, long time is called as chronic infection. Uh, some examples for chronic infection are HIV infection, arthritis, asthma, cancer and hepatitis C viral infection. Asymptomatic infection. Uh, asymptomatic infection is also called as inapparent infection or subclinical infection. Uh, disease without symptoms is referred as uh, asymptomatic infection. Uh, some examples of asymptomatic infections are uh, initial condition of syphilis, HIV infection, uh, human papilloma virus infection, herpes simplex virus infection, hepatitis B infection and hepatitis C virus infection. The next type is uh, communicable infection. Communicable infection is also called as uh, contagious infection. Uh, an infectious disease uh, transmissible as from one person to another person by direct contact with an affected individual or the individual's discharges or by indirect means as by uh, vectors is referred as communicable infection or contagious infection. Uh, common cold, HIV, flu, SARS, tuberculosis and streptococcus sore throat are the examples for communicable infection or contagious infection. Next, opportunistic infection. An infection that occurs more frequently and more severe in, in individuals with a weakened immune system is called as opportunistic infection. Uh, examples for an opportunistic infection are HIV infection, candidiasis, cryptococcosis, and uh, toxoplasmosis. The next is non communicable infection. A disease arising from opportunistic pathogen is referred as non communicable infection. Uh, diabetes, cancer, heart disease and lung diseases are the examples for non-communicable infections. Our next uh, localized infection. Localized infection is also called as local infection or focal infection. Uh, infection restricted to a small region of the body is called as a localized infection or local infection or focal infection. An uh, example is wound infection. And next is uh, generalized infection. Generalized infection is also called as uh, systemic infection. Uh, infection that affects all part of the body is called as uh, generalized infection or systemic infection. Uh, example for the systemic infection is uh, flu infection. Uh, next, nosocomial infection. Nosocomial infection is also called as uh, hospital acute infection. Uh, cross infection that is occurred in the hospital or other healthcare facility is called as nosocomial infection or hospital acute infection. Uh, examples for uh, nosocomial infection are uh, infections caused by Staphylococcus aureus, 
SRHA coli, Klebsiella pneumoniae and Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Uh, next, atrogonic infection or physician induced infection. The physician induced infection is an infection induced by the doctors as a result of medical errors such as uh, uh, mistakes made in surgery, uh, prescription or other procedures. Uh, next, vertical infection. A uh, passage of a disease causing agent or disease causing pathogens from mother to baby during the period immediately before and after the birth is called as vertical infection. Example, HIV infection. And finally, a latent infection. A disease that appears a long time after infection is called as latent infection or late infection. Example, herpes virus infection. Sources of microbial infection. Uh, seven sources are widely act as uh, sources of microbial infection. It includes humans, animals, insects, air, water, soil, and food. The first source of microbial infection is humans. Uh, the common source of infection in humans are human themselves. A carrier is a person who is harboring the microbial pathogens. Uh, some of the common types of carriers are uh, healthy or asymptomatic carrier, convalescent carrier, contact carrier, and paradoxical carrier. A healthy or asymptomatic carrier is a person who harbor pathogens but has never suffered from the diseases. A second, convalescent carrier is a person who recovered from the disease but continuously harboring the pathogens. A third, contact carrier is a person who occurs an infection from the patient. And finally, paradoxical carrier is a person who occurs an infection from another contact carrier. The second source of microbial infection is animals. Uh, many pathogens are able to infect uh, both human beings and animals. Uh, some animals maintain the pathogens in its body and act as a reservoir of uh, microbial infection. Uh, these kind of animals are called as reservoir host. Uh, infectious diseases transmitted from animals to humans are called as zoonotic diseases. Uh, some examples of uh, bacterial zoonotic diseases are anthrax caused by pestilence anthracis from cattle, bubonic plague caused by uh, Yersinia pestis from rats and rodents, Lyme disease caused by Borrelia burgerforti from deer, salmonellosis caused by salmonella species from birds, rodents and reptiles, and uh, typhus fever caused by Rickettsia provasci from rodents. Uh, some examples for viral zoonotic diseases are rabies caused by rabies virus from dogs, fox and bats and yellow fever caused by flabby virus from monkeys. Uh, some examples for uh, fungal zoonotic diseases are uh, ringworm infection caused by dermatophytic fungi from dogs and cats. Uh, the, some of the protozoan zoonotic diseases are uh, toxoplasmosis caused by toxoplasma gonidae from cats and malaria caused by plasmodium species from monkeys. Uh, examples for helminthic zoonotic diseases are tapworm infection caused by diphyllidium canium from dogs and fasciola infection caused by fasciola hepatica from the cattle. The third source of microbial infection is insects. Insects that are capable of transmitting pathogens from one place to another place are called as vectors. Uh, insect vectors are classified into, classified into two types. The first type is mechanical vector and the second type is uh, biological vector. Uh, mechanical vectors uh, passively carry pathogens to new host on their feet or other body parts. Uh, example, uh, foodborne infection from housefly and cockroach. The next the biological vectors. Uh, these biological vectors not only transmit pathogens but also serve as the host for the multiplication of a pathogen during some stage of the pathogen's life cycle. Example, uh, malaria caused by the protozoa plasmodium species, heliphantiasis caused by the helminth Ucheraria bancrofti, 
yellow fever caused by flavivirus and dengue fever uh, caused by flavivirus or transmitted through the biological vector mosquitoes the next sources of microbial infections are air soil and water uh, spores from microorganisms aerosol infected person in air can act as a source of airborne infection aerosol is a cloud of uh, small droplets and solid particles which are suspended in the air some examples of airborne microbial infections are anthrax tuberculosis chicken pox influenza measles and smallpox uh, some pathogens can survive in soil for a very long period and results in infection uh, some examples for soil borne microorganisms are uh, spores of bacteria that is uh, clostridium tetani and uh, fungi histoplasma capsulatum and finally uh, water may act as a source of infection due to the presence of coliforms and pathogenic microorganisms uh, some examples for water borne microorganisms are uh, escherichia coli uh, vibrio cholerae and hepatitis virus the final source of microbial infection is uh, food uh, contaminated food may act as a source of microbial infection the presence of pathogens in food may be due to the external contamination uh, that is uh, food poisoning by staphylococcus aureus and other uh, food borne infection causing pathogens or uh, due to the pre existing infection in the meat or any or other animal products uh, example salmonellosis a next transmission of microbial infection uh, microbial infections are transmitted through uh, three modes the first one is uh, contact transmission the second one is vehicle transmission and the third one is vector transmission the first mode of transmission of microbial infection is contact transmission uh, contact transmission is the spread of pathogens from one host to another by direct contact indirect contact or respiratory droplets uh, direct contact by hand shake hand shaking a uh, kissing sexual intercourse and bites indirect contact by using the fomites like uh, needles toothbrushes paper tissues toys money diapers drinking glasses bed sheets and medical equipments uh, respiratory droplet transmission occurs through the droplets from uh, coughing and sneezing at the time of coughing and sneezing the microbes can be able to spread to Uh, averagely 6 meters the second mode of transmission of microbial infection is vehicle transmission uh, spread of pathogens via air drinking water food and body fluids uh, which are being handled outside the body is referred as vehicle transmission airborne transmission occurs through dust particles spores and aerosols a uh, water borne transmission occurs through water streams and uh, swimming pools contaminated with uh, microorganisms due to the ha- human activities and uh, food borne transmission occurs occurs through poultry seafood and meat the third and final mode of transmission of microbial infection is uh, vector transmission insects that are capable of transmitting pathogens from one place to another place are called as vectors Uh, there are two types of uh, insect vectors one is mechanical vectors and the second one is biological vectors uh, in mechanical vectors pathogens are present in the bodies of the house fly and cockroach and in biological vector pathogens are present in the gut or salivary glands of the insects like mosquitoes lice and ticks dear viewers thank you for your support thank you